it's still April 10th. I'm trying to edit as much as I can before my computer is taken over by my husband. So enjoy the video. And this is some old clips that I had and I want to share them with you. And I hope everybody's staying safe during this pandemic. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Do you read the directions? Mm -hmm. It just says this. Yeah, each, uh, I think each class has their own thing or something like that. Uh, before you send them, do not send them until I check them, okay? Or daddy. Or, or daddy, yes. When marks get up, tell him to read, okay? And you have to read too. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody's home. Husband is sleeping. He didn't get up yet. So I'm about to first. I'm gonna throw out the garbage, then come back, grab my bike, and then I'm gonna go bike ride. There's the garbage. I'm about to get rid of, and then I'll come back. So today I decided to take my TRX with me to do some exercise where I did my pull-ups or my leg lifts, I mean. So yeah, here's the video. So it's about 10.30, I'm still out, I was riding my bike and doing some exercise over there and I just realized uh, the kids are at home, they are homeschooling. My oldest I left him doing his work but my youngest I need to work with him. I still have energy to do more, I felt like going to Hoboken, maybe I should do it. Go to Hoboken and then uh, go home because I have the energy, so I might as well use it. And then once I get home, I, uh, I'll work with my youngest. Um, but the thing is, once I get home, I'm probably gonna be exhausted. But I need my energy to work with my son. But anyway, my battery and this camera died, so I won't be continuing recording my writing, but uh, you have a good amount. I don't know. I did a lot of uh, routines over on the over there with the TRX thing, so I don't know. I thought the camera was recording it, so luckily I went and checked to see if it was recording, and it had stopped. So that last little clip that I had on my um, showed you, it's from my phone. So uh, we shall see. But uh, instead of wasting time talking, let me. I'm gonna ride to Hoboken and then go home and work with my son. Let me call home and see what's going on. Because my husband is home, he's working home. But I don't want him to be uh, uh, working with the kids because he has a lot of work to do. Those two past two, uh, past two days he was at home, he was there from eight till like uh, five o'clock. I'm like, damn, even though he was at home, he was still working like crazy, making phone calls and shit. So let me get going. All right, that's it for now. Uh -huh. All right, March 18. 11 17 a.m. I'm taking my first way in after biking. I went for a bike ride, did some exercise in the park. So 
I'm weighing myself now. I forgot to do it earlier this morning. 130 minus 1.8. Can you plan the cooking? Yes. Well, it's not going to be done until Mark is completely finished. Is that your work? Yes. All right, let me check it. Yay. Are you supposed to answer this? Do now, what is the difference between physical change and chemical change? Where's your answer? Hmm. Where's your answer for this? Um. And did you watch those so, um, videos? Yes. All right, so you need to answer that. That's the very first one. Okay. What is uh, what is physical? Um, a physical. Um. You talking about physical changes? Just in general, it doesn't matter whether it's physical like change. You could touch it. That's right. You could see it. You could touch it. What is chemical? All right, so I don't know what chemical is. All right, so you need to to answer that, these things. All right, so get to it. Um, I'm gonna need the computer for Mark soon, so please. Um, I thought you would be done by that by now. Physical, you could write that. Physical change is when something, uh, whatever you just told me. Put it in your own word, and then I'll I'll look at it. All right. You say you read Mark. Okay. What did you guys eat? Cake. Mm, okay. And but that's it's, how the school tells me. To do it. Okay. Before you send it, I want you to fix it because it does not sound good. Mixtures and solution are alike and different. How? You just stop. You take one part of the question. Mixtures and solution are alike. Then you explain how are they alike, and then. After that, then mixtures and solution are different. Then you explain how they're different. You just completely say, it stopped. It needs more. You probably answer it within here. All you have to do is separate these. Mixtures and solutions are alike by da da da. You explain how they're alike. And then on the next sentence or next paragraph, you explain how they're different. Right here where you said mixtures and solution are alike and different. I'm waiting for more. You stop right there. So please answer it more. They are different because one evenly distributed the substance while the other doesn't. One even, which one is evenly distributed? Mixtures or solution? Um. Okay. So, so you need to uh, tell them which one is evenly di uh, distributed. Because right now you're saying, you, you, you pretty much... You're probably right, but you need to tell them which one is uh, evenly distributed. That way, they will know the other one is the one that uh, doesn't. Mixtures and solution are alike and different. How? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. All right, back to mommy, dad. This here. Ooh. Put this here. Lower the stove. And then let me drain this. Oh, wait, let me fit that is on the phone. Don't make noise. Let me get this thing ready for you guys. Okay, so that will be. I'll eat some now and leave some for later. That will be all for the meat for today. everything back from this morning. Oh, I just drank some water. 2.8. 1.3, 2.8.